All right, legendary 80s guitar player George Lynch is about to release his second instrumental album named Guitars at the End of the World. It comes out September 8th via Rat Pack Records. And uh, George Lynch, he's always been my favorite guitar player since I first heard him in 1984. And he's got this unique sound and unique phrasing, his own unique musical vocabulary, which immediately identifies him as George Lynch. There's been others since that who have copped his sound a bit and can get close to it, but nobody can really hit that exact sound because it is just, it's it's him. And there's a spastic nature to some of his soloing that sometimes goes against music theory that makes it dangerous and it makes it great. The world is a better place for it. Many people who are deeply schooled in theory will not deviate from that theory and they have to stick with it. Sometimes he will break that theory. According to him, he doesn't know theory and he it's by ear and heart and feel and you can feel his guitar playing. At least I've always been able to feel his guitar playing and I think most people do. As far as the album itself, production-wise, it sounds fantastic. It sounds large and clean and just great. Got Tony Franklin on bass. The bass playing is great all over here. The drums are very solid. And George is just doing George Lynch type things all over here. And yet, while sticking and staying with George Lynch, and you can always tell it's him, there's also growth. There are experiments throughout this album that keep it fresh. And this thing sounds so good. The songs are so strong and interesting. Um, it starts off with a knowing. It, it's got this eerie build, you know, kind of like without warning, but then it goes completely different. It's got almost an ambient feel towards part of it. You got upbeat songs like Psycho Beta and um, what's the one? Um, Barachu Boogie. It's a very Satch type satch boogie type thing and it's a boogie feel and and that although there's great guitar playing it might be my least favorite on the album just because it is i don't associate boogie with george lynch i just don't um shadow of the needle is excellent the wolf is this incredible bluesy sultry number with a ton of soul um serpentarium is another one that just kind of oozes this kind of slow nature but it's so good the build is so good the phrasing is excellent the ritual mm, this it, there's a phrase in there that is crazy good contraflow is one of the there are many highlights contraflow is just excellent the melodic nature of this the catchiness of it and yet the the great smooth playing here is fantastic you got Tone Bender, which she's playing around with a pitch shifter a lot. It's just this cool vibe throughout this whole song. Um, you got this little acoustic bass number while it's got electric guitar on it. It's different from what you normally get from George. And uh, Bitches Be Trippin' is another bonus track, which you get something far different than what you're used to from Mr. Lynch's. That's a straight up funk song, and it's cool as hell. All in all, though, this album is fun. It's entertaining and enjoyable, and it's just got George Lynch really demonstrating his mastery of the instrument. Not just shredding, not just look how fast I can play, but there's so much feel, so much heart here, and so much textured, layered guitar parts going on. And you can pick up different things throughout each listen. This is a really strong instrumental album. If you're a fan of instrumental guitar music, check this out. George Lynch, Guitars at the End of the World, September 15th. If you're a fan of George Lynch, it's obvious a must listen. Great album. Love it. Thanks. Bye.